For the first time since 2005, the city of McAllen will have a signature verification committee to review absentee ballots. CBS 4's Michelle Vadigas explains why. For the first time in 12 years, McAllen will have what's called a signature verification committee, an all-volunteer group to review absentee ballots. All they're going to do on May the 5th is just uh, review the signatures. City Secretary Perla Lara says the need for the committee comes after 529 absentee ballot applications made it to her office. That's a huge increase from 2013, when the city received just 15 absentee ballots. 210 absentee ballots have been turned in so far. So it was in 2005, the last time that we actually appointed a signature verification committee. During the 2005 mayoral election, 926 people turned in absentee ballots. Former Mayor Otho Brand Sr., then Commissioner Rick Godinez, Armin Narro, Gary Rodriguez and current commissioner Richard Cortez ran for the seat. All of us that run that, that run for office want to win and we want to do all we can, you know, to you know to get elected. Uh, in that particular year, uh, you know, there was a, a, a huge disparity in how the mail-in uh, ballots came in for different candidates. Both Mayor Jim Darling and challenger Othel Brand Jr. support the committee. It takes out a political realm, so you have uh, five people who um, should be objective on it, and so I think it takes away from the city secretary um, making those determinations. And so I think it's probably a good idea when you have that many. If it's just to put, put an extra layer of protection for the integrity of the vote, I don't have a problem with that. Um, you know, it's all, it's, all in, it's all in the people they choose, you know, and how objective, how impartial, how um, balanced they can be. Lara says it takes about a minute and a half to check an absentee ballot signature, and it will take the committee approximately eight hours to check the over 500 that they are expecting to receive. Judge Dan Codina, a co-chair and three election clerks, make up the committee. After reviewing the signatures, they will tally the absentee ballot votes. In McAllen, Michelle Vargas, CBS4 News and ValleyCentral.com. And the deadline to turn in the application for an absentee ballot is tomorrow.